Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer minor playthrough. This is actually our first minor playthrough, but it is a playthrough nonetheless. We're playing the game Break In Alcatraz by Play Monster. I believe it is in Target and Walmart as we speak. This is a game where you're going to break in to Alcatraz and then you're going to try to break out. Now, the game plays about two hours and it plays like an escape room. We don't know Escape necessarily in. exactly how we are going to be playing it, because it's going to be play as, read the rules as you go. And we're going to play probably out the first 30 to 45 minutes of the game to give you guys a taste of what it's like, just in case you want to pick up this one. I'm sure there will be more different versions or varieties of these, this title, Break In. Maybe it's not Alcatraz. Maybe it'll be The Rock. With Sean Connery. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Maybe and Nick Cage. And it wasn't uh, as crazy. What? Oh, Nick Cage is actually in that one. Yeah. As opposed to movies that just should have Nick Cage in it, or, <laughs> or we can imagine Nick Cage being in it. All right. He's actually there, yeah. Okay, okay. So we're going to do this Alcatraz game here. Um, this is actually the front of the box, and actually comes on this thing like this. I like the shape of the box. It's unusual. So it comes just like that, and this pops off, and then we have Alcatraz here. Okay, hey, map Which will be, I'm guessing, popping these off. We'll have to see how it works, though. But there's like a oh, chest inside. Is that map accurate? Looks like it is. Uh, yes. Yeah, I think so. Okay, I've only been there once, but... I've been there twice okay. with my parents, but I was very young, so... And it does look very what? similar. <coughs> I was... <laughs> Arrested when you're nine. <laughs> I was definitely, I was definitely put there uh, for bad behavior. My, my parents were not, not, not the nicest. <laughs> all right, so we got all these little pieces here. I just took off from the, actually the back of the box here or the top of the box. So it's hidden inside. Yeah, you pop these little guys off, and this is what it gives you. Two separate little decks here, along with some like, decoder this is my kind of Annie's thing. decoder ring. That's old school where it's got the you know see-through red plastic. Of course, yeah. so you can you can see all the information. I was trying Find to do it on this thing, and I, I don't know if I'm Probably. actually doing it right. We'll see. Okay. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into this thing. I'll read the rules here, and you can follow along with me. It's one to six players, ages 10 to adult, and you need to stop. Don't continue until your whole group is present. Are you present? I think so. I'm present. Mentally, okay, we're good physically. to go. Do not open the box until you're directed to do so. Well, I had to open the box in order to playing. get... Yeah. Yeah. All right, welcome to Breaking Alcatraz. You're about to begin a high, challenging adventure. The night of June 11th, 1962, marks the only successful break-in out of Alcatraz. Every other attempt to escape the world's most secure prison failed or resulted in the deaths of the men trying to escape, like the Birdman. There's, there are some really funny ones. Or no one has ever figured out how drowned. these men made their way off the island, but one, but no one, uh, but no one ever knew their secret. There was an outside man. It's the day of the breakout. The boys inside need your help. If you're going to succeed, but to uh, if they're going to succeed, yes. But to make their plan work, you've got to be the most uh, you've got the most impossible and daring job of all. You need to break in to the inescapable prison known as the Rock. You know it's insane. You'll be walking into a fortress with armed guards, cells made of hardened steel, and be surrounded by the unforgivable waters that have made escape impossible. Who would be crazy enough to break into the one place no one has ever escaped from? All right, so what do we got? Expanding 3D game board, which is this guy here. We got 54 cards. We got seven solution sticks, which are these bad boys here. Envelope with four-piece raft puzzle. Okay, we got that. We got that little baby there. Uh, Two-piece ball and chain, which is secret, I guess. <laughs> Why does it say that? Okay. Is that hidden in the box? Radi yeah, it's hidden in the box. Radio decoder. This is my little Annie's Dakota ring. Okay, great. So set up. Uh, visit breakins.com to check out any updates, clues, and hints. Okay, to prepare the play, set the deck of cards to one side. Symbol side face up. Is that your deck or mine? On no, the camera. Symbols. One, two, three, this four, has symbols five, on six, it. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay, there's like a lock. 15, there's screw, Twenty-seven of these guys. Screwdriver here. and a hammer or something. It might look. It might be that one. We'll see. Okay. All right. During the adventure, you will come upon these symbols. When you do, find the matching card in the deck and read it out loud. Place the seven solution sticks to one side. Okay, we don't need you guys just yet. Begin the game with your That's radio, tools, seven. and letter. Radio, tools, and letter. These three cards are near the top of the deck. Find them and reveal them now. Okay, radio. so you got your little, it's actually a little tool box. All right, tips and tricks. Make sure cards 5 and 48 have all punch-outs removed. Okay, so these, these cards here have all their punch-outs removed. 5, and this is probably 48. Yes, it is. Okay. During the course of this adventure, you will need to overcome any challenges and solve puzzles if you want to be able to break in and help your friends escape. You will work together as a group. Be sure to share information you discover with your fellow players. You will encounter two types of symbols during the game, card symbols and solution symbols. 
Card symbols don't do not have a box around them. You can find card symbols on the box, uh, another card, and as the solution to a puzzle. When you see a card symbol, find the matching card in the deck and read it. These are the matching okay. symbols here. So you have one, two, three, four, and then you're gonna have all these symbols, I guess. Solution symbols are gonna be like the, turn it around. Oh, these are two, yeah. Okay, uh, so, but the solution symbols are gonna be the ones that are on your, these things here. There's gonna be little symbols okay. on there. Uh, solution symbols are associated with any an object or location that you need to use as an answer to a puzzle. Solution symbols tell you the solution uh, stick to use to check your answer. Okay, tell you what, what stick to use. All right, check your solution. Some puzzles will result in a symbol that matches one of the cards in the deck. You've solved the puzzle if you figured out the symbol. Find the matching card in the deck and read it. Other puzzles require three points to solve them, a solution symbol, a color, and a number. Okay. For example, you might need three objects to solve a puzzle. One will give you a symbol, another will give you a color, and the third will give you a number. Okay. okay. Once you have all three parts of the solution, you can confirm your answer. Find the solution stick with the solution symbol you want to use. Slide the stick into the slot matching the number you believe is the answer. Drop the solution stick down in the slot until you read the line with the color you want to use. Look through the cutout. So this thing right here, it'll tell you, you can take this little stick in and you'll be sticking them inside these these little areas here. Okay, there's, there's a little window there that we can see whatever symbol we need. Exactly. Got it. Uh, yep, slide the stick into the slot, matching the number you believe is the answer. Drop the solution stick down into the slot you re um, until you reach the line with the color you want to use. Look through the cut out. If you see a symbol, find that matching card in the deck and read it. If the symbol you see leads you to a hint card instead of another puzzle, you have the wrong answer. Try again. Okay. Okay. Hints. Anytime you would like a little help, you can refer to the hint card, which are these guys here. Uh, use associated with the current puzzle. Use the red filter on the radio decoder to reveal hints. The final hint will typically give you the solution to a puzzle or let, uh, or tell you to go to the next card to read it. Uh, ready to play? Begin by exploring your environment. Look at all the sides and top of the box for clues. When you find a card symbol on the box, it will be highlighted with a circle. Look through the deck for the card with the matching symbol and read it. Be sure to search carefully and find all of the symbols each time you enter a new area. Do not open or unfold layers until instructed to do so on a card. If you are new to break in games, if you would like some guidance, read the number one card, complete steps one before reading steps two and so on. Remember, don't open the box slash layer until you are directed to do so during gameplay. And then read out loud and begin your adventure. All right, here we go. You ready? It's now we've, ready. I think we've gotten through the rules. Uh, maybe I'll put a skip ahead portion to where we start playing the game now if you mm. don't want to know the rules. TLDR. The day Frank Norris was transferred to Alcatraz, he was already planning his escape. Since then, you've been receiving letters from him with hidden messages. You know he and three other men, Alan West and the England brothers, John and Clarence, plan to break out of Alcatraz on June 11th while the warden is away on a fishing trip. You also know there's no way they're going to make it. The water surrounding Alcatraz is near freezing. The currents are strong and they're sharks. You owe Frank big time, so you're going to help by taking a boat and meeting them on out of the water before they freeze to death. But that's not enough. You'll need to find. You know, you'll never find them in the dark. You'll need a radio beacon to let you know where they. They'll need a radio beacon to let you know where they are. So you. So now you've got a plan as daring as Frank's. You're going to break into Alcatraz with a radio beacon and escape with Frank so the boat can find you. You know it's crazy, but is it? The guards will never suspect someone trying to break in, so they won't be looking for you. This just might work. All right, we recommend searching for symbols that explain a location in more depth. For example, look on the side of the box near a floating bottle in the middle of the ocean on the top of the box to find matching cards in the deck and read them. So we have this box here. Okay. And I also have clues. These are our little clues here. And it says we can actually read this as our first clue if we actually want. I'll go ahead and just take a little peek at it and see if we want to do that while you're looking at it. Here it is. Okay. You spot a bottle floating in the water. Oh, okay, so you quite literally will be looking for symbols on this thing here, mm -hmm. drawing the cards and then reading them out loud. So yeah, we found our little symbol on the bottle. You spot a bottle floating in the water with a net in hand. You lean over to the rail of the boat and scoop the bottle as it passes by. Inside the bottle, you find a note. Uh, read this card. The card's a, a laughing man with a mask on. Find the... Okay. Acting only curious and looking for helpful information from the guard, you say, Surely if someone escaped the cell house, they could easily get to the water and swim off the island without being seen and getting caught. 
The guard laughs. Not a chance. The closest destination is the most tempting, but the strong currents will drag you out to sea. Anyhow, anyway, the shore is busy and you'd be noticed. You could swim east, but then you'd end up at a military base and certainly be sighted. It's really cold, so you don't want to be in the water longer than you have to. Also, there's not much cover along the shore, so you'd want to reach the water close to where you plan to dive in. Two attempts were made at the dock. Because of them, the ferry double checks every and everyone and accounts for every passenger, and there's always someone patrolling that area. The most uh, the most attempts tried to escape near the model industries building, they all got caught. We run extra patrols there. We have the whole area covered. Nobody's gonna get past. Trust me. All right. It's a message from a desperate prisoner, says the captain, looking over your shoulder. One who knows he will never escape. You should keep it as a souvenir of your visit to Alcatraz. I dream of escape of seeing the mysteries of the world like Mayan temples and flying saucers. Or was it just a weather balloon? I wonder where they, where they took it. Alcatraz Island Penitentiary, working order painting, and then it has colors for three, two, and one. Mm, this are, so the th first thing it says, look at the map and find the boat symbol. Uh, find and read the card that matches the symbol. That's the, the boat? first thing it suggests us to do. Oh, this is the boat symbol boat. right here. Okay. Do. It's at the very back. Yeah, there. There, very back. All right, it's the morning of June 11th, the day Frank Morris and his companions plan to escape. You're on the ferry that runs between Alcatraz and San Francisco. Another passenger with you on the ferry is a prison guard returning to the island. You're pretending to be a plumber coming to fix some broken pipes. There's a problem. The captain has a list of passengers in his pocket. At the end of the day, they make sure all visitors have left the island. You're going to need to get your name off that list if you don't want everyone looking for you later. So your goal is to distract the captain by accidentally uh, surrounding or sounding the whistle so you can seek the passenger list out of his pocket. You'll need a symbol, color, and number to solve this puzzle. If you want a hint, it's a coffee cup. Coffee cup. Um, but it looks like we're going to need our decoder for this. Perhaps you can accidentally trigger an alarm to distract the captain. Try to get one of the alarm whistles stuck on so it makes a lot of noise. How do we do that? We need a, solu we need a solution symbol, a color, and a number to solve puzzles. Move the switch toward the whistle that you want to turn on. One might be broken. What switches are we hitting? Okay. And you need lots of pressure to sound the whistle more than you have now. The only thing I have is this, we have this little area over here we have left and right. It looks kind of like it could be a whistle. Oh, because yeah, there is an alarm thing down here. Yeah. But those weren't cards in the deck. No, they're symbols that you'll find. These are decoder symbols. Okay. So we have these. We need a color though. If, if we're, so if we want to sound the alarm, right, we're going to make it, we want to go red, right? I think so. So it looks like. So we just need a color now. And I know these are the co these are some colors here. The captain, one who knows you'll never escape. You should keep it as a souvenir of your visit to Alcatraz. I feel like this is going to be the slot we're trying to go for. For the alarm, because we're trying yeah. to solve that puzzle. Check out your, the next one. So these, each one of these are like clues, huh? Yeah, all three of those. You need lots of pressure to sound the whistle. More than, than you, you have, have now. now. Is that all it gives you? Yep. Move the switch toward the whistle so you want need to turn this on. Anchor one, right? One might be broken. It's just do we want? Oh, because yeah, okay. Looking at this, that one's broken. The the picture of the whistles here. That whistle looks good to go. So we want to switch it. Okay, so red to anchor. There it is. Red to anchor. This is the anchor. Okay. Okay. And so it's red. So we want the second one. I think so. Yeah, so is that the coffee cup or the, the other thing? Or is it above it? I think it's this one here. In order to, yeah, it says we need a solution symbol, a color, and a number. Okay, so we have, we need Not that, red two, two and the symbol. Red two and this. The anchor, yeah. You will find the solution symbol, the symbol you want to use. That's the anchor. Well, then it shows a map. Red. So what's the symbol on it? It doesn't. Select the whistle on the right. Yep. Turn the dial to red. Okay. And move the switch toward number two. So we needed this, this one right here, which is going to have the anchor, anchor on top. Yeah. Right, because point it turns it to the red side. And then we also know that what's what does two mean exactly? It's the second one here, one and two. And those are the options. Oh. The red there. 
Not ah. on the stripe there, you put it right on the top. Okay, so we're okay. doing this right. So what it is, is you slide this down until it hits the red line. On the top Right there, on the yeah. top. And then, then it shows us the map. It shows you the solution. Okay. I wish I had a picture for that here. Yeah, that, that, that would show where, where that goes up or down. Well, it does say show the it, it shows no, the I, color on there, but it doesn't show, doesn't show where to stop it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, I'm, so I'm thinking we when we're this. looking down in here. But no, this makes more sense though on top of here. We're yeah. just not not being very bright. Okay, so uh, you accidentally turn on the alert whistle while the captain is distracted turning it off. You sneak the passenger list out of his pocket. No one's ever escaped the rock alive, says the guard next to you. At first, you're nervous he saw you take the list, but he draws you a map. One of the three places to escape to Treasure Island is the farthest away, followed by Angel Island, then San Francisco. Next, he tells you about the 12 escapees that have been, uh, 12 escapes that have been attempted and failed. He draws these with solid colored lines and numbers them. During number 10, they never even made it out of the cell house. You draw a dotted pass connecting the cell house to paths other prisoners have used. You'll need to figure out the path from the cell house to the shore with the greatest chance of, of success. Goal. Determine the path to the shore with the best chance of not getting caught. You'll need your destination symbol. To, you need your destination, which is a symbol. The place where you climb down the cell, um, cell house roof number and the path you'll follow to the shore color. If you okay. want a hint, the uh, dude and running. This is one and now two. Now we're using yeah. these. Okay, that makes more sense. And our hint for this one is the dude running. So we're done with this then, yeah? Yes, I think so. I feel like we still want these for something. We might want but, that, but yeah. we don't need these right now either. Okay, so we'll put these up here for now. Okay. Right. Okay, dude running. Because yeah, we're trying to make a path or beeline from South House to the shore. So there we go. And what's the, why is it giving us another, a Oh, we have another decoder thing. Determine the path from the cell house to, uh, with to, the best chance of not being seen or getting caught. Okay, what's our first clue? Have you talked to the guard twice? Once to get a map and once to hear about the escape attempts? Yes. yes. Which is this here. And the destination is neither the closest nor... Nor the farthest? The farthest, uh, nor the one to the east. Okay, so we're not going to the... Yeah, we're not going to the military base, and then we said not except the middle one. Then and this is like, it shows you on here. It's got a compass. There's north, south, east. We want Angel Island. Yeah, the list where he's talking about here: Treasure Island, Angel Island, San Francisco. Well, it's not we this Angel one. Island. So it's it's not this one. It's not the one to the east. So it's one of these two here. Yeah, well, that looks like San Francisco. So that's you know, the, yeah. That's San Francisco. Yeah. So is that two even? miles? Angel Island, right there. Okay. Okay. So that's going to be west. Well. Well, Northwest. it's going to be this symbol here. Uh, oh, the hourglass? Hourglass. There or, it is. Uh, magnifying glass. Magnifying right. glass, yeah. And the area with the most escapes, 23578, is heavily patrolled. 23578. Five, seven, eight. Eight. So, six? Which is green. And does oh, it say? Where does green? it say that 26? Where does it say that they're the heaviest patrolled? Oh, the, the number 10 that never made it out of the cell house. So, number 10, no, definitely not. 10 just sits there. Um, it wasn't there information that explained them. to us that that you, the, some of them were more heavily patrolled than others? Which ones aren't going to work? So the rocks... The ferry double checks every passenger. There's always someone patrolling that area, so you don't want to go near the ferry either. Okay, so we're not the looking The ferry's at, 9 or 11. Yeah, we're not going over there. This is the only way to go over there. So we're, we, we already know that we're going on Angel Island, so we know that we're going for the magnifying glass. We don't want the rocks... I mean, most don't. attempts tried to escape near the model industries building. They all got caught. Yeah, so, I know what that yeah. one is. That's seven. Okay. That's the one we don't want to go to. Okay, so six. So you know, we have the we have the color, we have the symbol, and then we need the number. Oh, and six doesn't do it, does it? Because we need what? six is not the number. No, it's one or two. Yeah. And I think this is going to tell us what number we go to. Oh, what color was it? Green. Yes. Floor one. There's a floor one one here, and it's green. Oh, okay, one green and magnifying glass. Could be it. Okay, we got what? Oh, the running dude. We have that already. That's what, that's the car we're looking at, right here. Uh, that one. You have it. Yeah. Okay, that's not it then. So Let's number, see what the number, number tells two, us. Then? Choose the point on the roof um, that heads directly towards your destination. Oh, two. Oh, because this one, I see. So it actually utilizes the box here okay. to tell you, 
uh, that number two your is obviously where you want to start. So this yeah. is where you want to start, and that's saying you want to go to the, the close path. The, the, the path that's going to be the least of least resistance, and then asks you, of no course, patrols, which. No guards, so you definitely yeah. want to find out where this is, and then what the best escape route is, and then what the closest route to getting to those is. So two green magnifying glass. Okay. Now what do we got? And that is. It looks like a wall, or a gate, or a cell. Which one? Is this one oh, here? Oh, I got you. Yeah. All right. As the boat pulls into the dock, the captain is distracted and you slip the passenger list back into his pocket with your name erased. You find yourself getting excited. You're curious what, what the world's most you're curious what the world's most secure prison looks like from the inside. You have plenty of time to think about what you are doing as you walk up the long hill to the cell house. You enter through the main door. You hope your stay is short, very short. Open the first layer of the box to enter Alcatraz. Be sure to look for the highlighted card symbols. You have successfully made it to Alcatraz Island. You, if you still want guidance, read card two. Open the first layer of the box to so enter. We just busted in, so we're gonna open this. It's the whole layer. We open everything then. Okay. Oh. We are on the rock. Bam! That's cool. Whoa, what's going on now? Oh, there's another box in here, and you open up another one. That's really cool. Whoa. Oh, it's even named for you know, Broadway, because that was uh, the big main uh, cell block where all the famous criminals were. That block yeah, C, what's block up? B. This is really detailed. I like this. How cool is that? They did the research, too, for what it looks like on the inside and stuff. Like, we're, well. Maybe not exactly, you know, pictures of us, but like the setup for you know, all the famous locations. Oh, this is definitely right. When we, um, at least on the side where there's actually tons of oh, yeah. stories three layer, in rows. Yeah, three layers of it. Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. Well done. Wow. Well, this is probably a good stopping point to give you just a little taste of it. We got it. In. I mean, obviously, we went through like all the clues. We had a little we, trouble there. <laughs> we possibly could go through it. And we, even with the clues, we still didn't understand it. So I guess the takeaway is understanding how these fit into the building areas, these little yeah. spaces here. Drop down to the color the line color on is. top. That and, then, symbol. and then you're also looking for color, number, and symbol. And the number is going to be based where you place it. All right? There's even more now. All right, there's more numbers now. And the, uh, the, the numbers where you place it, the color is going to be what line you drop it to from the top area. So if it's going to be uh, blue here, you'll drop it down to blue. And then obviously the symbol. Symbols, whichever stick you're looking at. Cause you'll, and it tells yeah, you'll see the all very these top. different symbols, the top or bottom is two ends on both. And so you're actually just looking. You don't actually, and uh, another thing to note too, is you don't actually need to read any of this to figure it out. We didn't yeah. need any of this. Yeah, the, 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 all the information really is, the is, is there the available. Hints. This is all the clues and hints. And then there's additional clues and hints for you if you're super in need. Which, uh, I guess we weren't super in need except for the first one. We struggled a little bit. We, but start, we did we struggle. Further in, then we're good. You guys will know. I think, we'd be, <laughs> yeah, I think we'd be faster after this. But uh, that's cool. This is actually replayable, too. You can put it back together. Yeah. We, we're not going to replay it, though, but you can give it to a friend or whatever. Mm -hmm. Right? Uh, this is cool, this little decoder. I didn't know exactly how we were going to use it, but it actually is used to read things. Yeah, those are, yeah, those, yeah, like I said, you do not need to read these to figure it out. These are hints to help you find the clues of the puzzle. And there's tons of other little things that, like, like this one, I'm very excited to see. Yet. This is the, your toolbox. I'm going to guess you maybe take something like this and you're going to place it in here in some way. Like, something like that. Could be. I don't know. Or we'll if see. it goes over a card without, you know, Give you letters up and down then maybe to give you a new sentence or something yeah i don't know could be i'm not sure there's also this of course which is like a, a puzzle that you get to put together so there's a bunch of little extra escape room things and other hints and of course a bunch of information down here with new things that we're gonna be finding mm -hmm. that's super cool yeah uh very very cool i, I like escape room games quite a bit i know there's good they're... stories to go through it too i like it you're yeah. literally walking through like essentially the heist yeah well, not heist but like the breakout yeah and they this isn't this an actual breakout story of what they they actually broke so, out I don't know. I'm not sure if anybody had to break in to help them or not. Well, yeah, that's the that's the game the portion game, of it. But yeah. there is people who broke out and nobody ever figured out how they did it, right? Um, they think they did because they never figured, found uh, the evidence of you know any kind of you know person afterwards. But then they found like essentially if you remember, there's pant legs that they tied up to make essentially a raft. Yeah. Uh, that they filled with air like a navy style, tied off the ends of the pants, and then used that as a flotation device because otherwise they didn't have any other means at the time. That's super cool. And as you can see, you'll probably break in again here. It Into looks like, it looks like out yeah, you've then... got to go in there. And there's also something in here. There's that little yeah. extra thing. And let's see how easy it is to put back up. This goes, like, can you? this goes just like this. 
and then you just take these and, and pop, pop back them on. back in, I think. And then you can, and not, we didn't tear anything yeah, apart or destroy being, anything. Yeah. So this game can be... Can be replayed. Like once you've done it, you're going to know all the answers and clues and all that kind of stuff. So I mean, that's not going to be as fun, but... Well, no, you, you can just pass it around else. to the group or something, yeah. This would be a good one. I mean, you had to watch us play it, but if, if Callie was here with us, we'd probably have... Gone through faster. Gone through much faster. She's a very good uh, escape room person. Fun. Yeah. If really you want cool. to take a look at the game Break In Escape, you must first break in Alcatraz. I don't know if that's. I think it's just called Break In. It's just okay. Break In, and then this is Alcatraz. So it's like uh, so there's multiple one episode. Games. There's going to be. Well, you're breaking into the box as you go, so I mean. Yeah. I think the next time we do a game like this, uh, we'll, we'll go through it all. Of course, we, before I give a review for this game, we're actually going to go ahead and uh, do play a... Play the full thing. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and play the full thing. He's limited on time, and we don't want to give you too much spoiler. This is probably just enough spoiler. Yeah. It was just the little first portion. This plays up to two bit. hours. Yeah. And if you consider the fact that we goofed off a lot, a lot. Uh, then there's plenty of extra gameplay for you in this But you're on your world. own figuring out the rest, so yeah. good luck. All right, guys, thank you so much. If you're interested in taking a look at our channel, go ahead and hit it up. There's the link in the description to check out Breakout as or Break In. I'm so, I'm so used to breaking out of this. Because it's always a breakout room, so yeah. You can go ahead and hit the uh, subscribe button and the notification bell button. And if you want, visit me, Just Josh, and of course, Callie's crew, well, Callie over there. Uh, yeah, she's at work right now, but we'll, we'll do live streams every Wednesday, 6.30 p.m. PST. Our website's being updated. We'll have uh, a bunch of new writers, including Josh really here. It looks really nice. And it's going to be really nice. Yeah, they're really professional looking. Uh, a bunch of extra content as well. You can go ahead and hit up there, hit up our mailing subscriber list. We'll be boosting out tons of new unique content, stuff that's going to be good for you, especially when the site launches. We'll do a huge giveaway. Join our Discord, which will also have a link down below for the first and Twitch. certain amount. And Twitch, and Twitch, yeah. Hit it up, hit it up. We do it all the time, and we're happy to have you guys. We appreciate you guys taking a look at Break In with us. Um, if you're sad that we didn't go through the whole thing, if you're sad that we failed miserably at the puzzle, <laughs> leave a comment down below, make fun of us, and torture us as to how terrible we are at these games. Oh yeah, know. roast us, bring yeah, it on. That's fine. All right, thank you guys. As always, we look forward to seeing See you guys, guys next time. time.